تسلیم اللہ مسلی علیہ سیدنا محمد و علیہ سیدنا محمد اصحاب و بارک و سلیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم یٹ ٹو اندر انسٹالمنٹ آف مفتاح القرآن دس ٹائم وی کنٹینیو ود لیسن نمبر سکسٹی نائن اینڈ دیٹ بگینز ود ورس نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فورٹی ایٹ اینڈ آف کورس یو آر چون ڈین ٹو آئی ٹی وی اینڈ دس از اپ ٹو سمت عبد القادر as i usually do and of course beginning with lesson number 248 what we learn there is that on 248 verse onwards we have to begin as usual and whenever we say fa iza qara'ta alquran fasta'iz billahi minash shaitanir rajim that auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Now, when we are going to continue our, our discussion of verse number 248, I would just like to give you a little background from the previous verse, that is verse number 247, wherein we did discuss the question of Jalud being appointed as a, as a king. But actually the word Malik is a misnomer. You see that Malik or king. And the word Malik does not mean king or monarch, it actually means dominion, one who is in control, one who has a sovereignty. Like, for instance, we read that, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alam tara ila al-mala'i min bani Israel min ba'di Musa, did you look or consider at the chiefs of the children of Israel after Musa? Is qalu li nabiyyin lahum. And when the said to a prophet unto them, Iba aslana malikan nuqatil fi sabirillah. Raise for us a malik. Now you see this word malik, it has been later on invented by the monarchist to mean king or a monarch, but it does not mean king or monarch. It means an authority, someone who has dominion, someone who has actually control over things. Now in this case here, When the children of Israel asked for somebody who is going to be a malik amongst them, what did they ask for? An authority to do what? Obviously we learn, قَالَ هَلْ أَسَيْتُمْ He said, maybe that. إِنْ كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْقِتَالُ أَلَّا تُقَاتِلُوا That if fighting is prescribed upon you, you shall not fight. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ And the Prophet said to them, إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ بَعَسَ لَكُمْ تَعْلُوتَ مَلِكًا Surely Allah has very raised Talut as a Malik. Now the question of Malik comes in here, that many people would argue to tell us that the Qur'an actually promotes Malik meaning monarchy. But that word Malik does not mean king or monarch which was later on invented. It actually means a dominion, somebody who is in authority or somebody who is in control. So in this case, because قَالُوا anna يَكُونُ لَهُ mulku alayna, They said, how can that is Talut have a dominion that is a mulk, not the kingship, but a control over us, right? So what did the Nabi reply? وَنَحْنُ أَحَقُّ بِالْمُلْكِ مِنْهُ That the people who, who actually wanted somebody to lead them at war. So obviously the, the, the Malik here is going to be the commander-in-chief of an army. This is what we understand by that. That this person who is going to be chosen as a Malik is not going to be a monarch but a commander-in-chief. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the people came and said, while 
we are more entitled to the authority than he is. Allah subhanahu wa lam yu'ta sa'atan min al mal. And the people wanted to know that this person who's going to lead us, and nor has he been granted in a, an abundance of wealth, but look at how the Prophet answered them that, Inna Allah has tafahu alaykum, that Allah has surely chosen him over you. You see, this is what the Prophet told them. On what basis? Look at that. To, to be a leader in the army or commander in chief, not a person who has got a lot of wealth, wazadahu bastatan fil ilmi wal jism, and he has increased him abundantly in the knowledge and the physic. Now, these are the two attributes you need, which we have done in our previous lesson, in lessons that is 68. But now we find that the two ilm and jism, that is zadat bastatan fil jism, human physics, to, to a good physique to lead the army. And wallahu yu'ti mulkahu mayyashan. Allah gives his dominion, his authority to whomever he wishes. Wallahu wasin. So now that we have made this point very, very clear as an introduction, that Talut was appointed as a malik, not as a monarch, and not as a king who is going to, you know, rule over those things without any what you call absolute ruler, no. But he's been appointed as an authority on the basis of his knowledge and the basis of his well-developed body because here we need somebody who's going to lead the army. So let us continue from there now what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ إِنَّ آيَاتَ مُلْكِهِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ That, let us take this now one by one and see what he's going to say here. Wa, of course, we know we have done so many times, wa is end. Qala, he said, who said? The Nabi, that is the, the Nabi amongst them. And remember, this is happening after the people had already arrived in Palestine. They are there in the promised land of Canaan and uh, led by Nabi Musa, alayhi salam. And these things are happening long after the history of Nabi Musa, alayhi salam. Qala, lahum to them. That is to the people, the Nabi. Who said that? Nabi Yuhum. Now we say now, said to them. So we are going to ask a question, who said? And obviously we are getting the answer, the Nabi said. You see here, the Nabi, Nabi Yuhum said, that is the subject of the sentence because it is in the nominative case, in the sign of the nominative. We have done that or the subject of the sentence. Again and again we have said that the Dhamma is their prophet said, Inna surely. Now, whenever Inna comes, you know the word that comes after Inna must go in the accusative case or the object case, and there it is Fatha. So we say, Inna ayata, that the sign, Mulkihi, of his authority, not of his kingship. You see, Mulk, or of his dominion, of his control, of his commander in chief, because this is what they wanted. Talut or Saul of the Bible to be. And that, Ya Tiyakum, it shall come to you. Now you see that Ya, the Ya means it. It shall come to you. Kum is to you, obviously. Kum means you. What shall come to you? Attabutu. You see that the Dhamma is a sign of the subject of the sentence. We say Attabutu, the Ak. Of course, Al is the Tabut. Now, the ta Tabut can be explained in a symbolic way, or we know that there was an ark, right, which was a sign of, of the divinity and the contact between, between the people and, and Jehovah and God Almighty. That was a sign. So, what happened that the Prophet told them that the sign of his authority shall be the Tabut. That is, and some people will say it is the pure heart or whatever it is, but there are various explanations. So the tabut will be there. And what about the tabut? وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ And the Prophet said to them, إِنَّ آيَةَ مُلْكِهِ أَيَّأْتِيَكُمُ tabut. Surely the sign of his authority, as I said, I must emphasize again, it's not sign of his kingship. Authority, mulk. You see, is that the ark shall come to you? Fihi sakinatun, 
min rabbikum fihi sakinatun min rabbikum so let us see word by word fihi of course fi is a preposition that's fi and he is it fihi meaning in it in the sakina in the ark and you interpret the ark as as a, as a, as a, as a something that was there is it was there wherever the children of israel when they took it sakinatun mean peace and tranquility you see sakinatun is a peace and sang- now why do we say is because of the tanwin first of all we say a and this is like a nominal sentence and so we say tranquility min from rabbikum now look at that rab is lord kum is your now min is a preposition we know that and therefore what happens here is that that kasra is there to show that it is governed by the preposition min so let us see fihi sakinatum mir rabbikum within it that within the ark this is a sign of the dominion of talut that the that the sakina will come uh, that is that the ark will come the tabut and in the tabut shall be what tell be the tranquility sakina peace and tranquility in it from where mir rabbikum from your lord and so wa baqiyatu mimma taraka alu musa wa alu harun tahmiluhu al malaikatu and wal wa baqiyatun mimma taraka alu musa wa alu harun tahmiluhu al malaikatu wa and and a remaining what do you mean by a remaining whatever is going to be the left over left over by whom and remaining mimma of that what and remember we are talking to a time after the passing away of nabi musa and passing away of nabi harun alayhi salam now each one of them had a certain group of people that carried the ark and they had certain blessings so now the angel that is the the the, the nabi tells the people of israel that the sign of the of talut that is sol would be that the, first of all the tabut wherein will be the uh, uh, the sakina that is a peace and tranquility and a remaining of whatever blessing have been left by whom taraka had left first of all if you ask a question who left ask the question who left you are going to get subject of the sentence taraka had left who left and here we get the nominative case the dhamma is a sign of the subject of the sentence the family of musa first of all the family of musa left wa and alu that's also you find al the people that is the umma the people of harun now you notice now here this is a genitive case showing of now because harun is one of those group of words that do not have three signs all three signs you find especially those words that come from the ancient egypt egyptian or hebrew historical fact you find there in that case the fatha will denote both the object and the possessive or the of or the genitive case so therefore we do not say min haruni there is no such thing as min haruni it is haruna which will tell us that it is the genitive case because as we say in grammar they call them deep totes so harun is one of those words tahmiluhu now we say hamala he carried yahmilu he carries now you take that ya and you convert it into a ta it becomes they now what is the they for they means a non non animate non human plural whenever a non human plural comes we treat it as she in arabic but of course it becomes they in in uh, in the english language so you say they tahmilu they carry it what is that it that is that is the tabut the art the angels they carry it who is that they we ask who carry it and immediately we are getting the answer 
that is the angels carry it. You see here, the angels are carrying it and it's the subject of the sentence. So we say, Tahmiluhu al malaika to the angels, and of course, malaika is a plural of malak. Malak means singular, and malaika is plural, the angels carrying it. So let us see. O baqiyatu mimma taraka alu Musa wa alu Haruna tahmiluhu al malaika tu. Wa baqiyatun. And a remaining. Now you see, we're talking about what is the proof that Talut is in fact the one who's been entrusted with authority and dominion in answer to the people's prayer. It is Talut, and therefore he will come. The sign of him will be that he will be given a, a, an ark, and in that ark will be complete tranquility, and part of that also will be, and a remaining of that what had left the family of Musa and the family of Harun, that is, all the blessings. And it is, if you read, you find that these were things that were carried in the ark and wherever the children of Israel went, they carried from place to place. But they say the angels used to carry it. You see, so the moment we come to that situation now, they, the people were told, this will be a proof that Talut has been entrusted with authority because the people wanted somebody who is going to lead them in battle, so obviously Talut has been appointed here as a commander-in-chief in the army to lead them because of his knowledge and because of his physique. And I think we'll have a short break and inshallah, after the short break we shall continue. Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'qiloon أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and welcome to the program مفتاح القرآن as we have announced of course you are watching ITV we are doing first number 248 and in that 248 we find that uh, the people did pray for someone to lead them in the army and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed Talut with the help of the Nabi, the announcement had been made and now we are going to see further what Talut does. You see, inna fi dhalika la ayatan lakum in kuntum mu'mineen. Inna, let's see word by word, inna fi dhalika la ayatan Lakum in kuntum mu'minin. So what we notice here is now inna first of all, inna. Inna always governs the noun in the accusative case as we say in our grammar. So inna fi in, it's followed by a preposition, not a noun of course. Inna fi dhalika, that in that, what in that meaning in the, in the, Ark. In the ark indeed is a sign. Zalika la ayatun. See la ayatun. La is indeed. What is la? Is indeed. Here we find la as indeed. La indeed. Ayatun, a sign. A sign we know it is a because of the double tanwin. Whenever it is double, right? So we say it is an indefinite article a. Indeed a sign. Lakum for you. You see, la, la is two or four. Lakum, for you. Indeed, a sign for you, meaning to the people on whom the Quran is revealed and to the children of Israel at that time. In, if kuntum, you are mu'mineen, believers. If you are believers, that is, the angel announces to the people now that that is the ark, and is also the leftovers of the people of time of Musa and the time of Harun, these two Anbiya alayhi salatu wa salam. And then the Nabi says, Inna fi dhalika la ayatan lakum in kuntu mu'mineen. Surely in that is indeed a sign for you if you are believers. That is that the people of Israel. So now let us see what that does ja Talut do. Now you know who is Talut? Talut is the one who's been appointed as a Malik, meaning as a commander-in-chief 
of the army because that is a position, the authority to lead them into battle against, against whom? Against, you know, Goliath and his people. You see, فَلَمَّا فَصَلَ تَعْلُوتُ بِالْجُنُودِ قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مُبْتَلِيكُمْ بِنَهْرِ So, فَلَمَّا Of course, we know, فَا is so when فَلَمَّا so when فَصَلَ فَصَلَ means he set out. Now imagine now the battle is beginning now. Look at the background. Here the people did ask. They say, Ya Allah, send us somebody who is going to be a dominion, a malik amongst us. Not a monarch in that respect. Right? This, has, this title of monarch has been usurped later on by people to call themselves malik. But the actual meaning is one who is in control from the word malaka to control. So malik is one who is going to be an authority. And the best position described here could be the commander-in-chief as in the army. So when Talud comes into the scene because of his knowledge of warfare, etc., and because of his physique, that his body is so well equipped to lead an army, he leads the people. So now the Quran tells us, Falamma Fasala, Falamma Fasala, that he set out. Who set out? Talud. Can you see Talud meaning? Talud is the Talud of the, the soul of the Bible, as I said. So when Talud, Saul, Falamma Fasala, he set out, Bil Junudi, B of course is wood, Al is the Junudi's army, right? So when he set out with his army, now you see the word La, what's the meaning of La? La means, Allah says, I'm, I'm not, my sentence is not complete. He set out with his army. Allah. Allah said, who said? Inna surely Allah. Inna Allah surely Allah. Now you notice here the fatha means that this is governed by inna. Inna makes it into a fatha. Inna Allah. We cannot say inna Allahu or inna Allah. Inna Allah mubtalikum. Now you see the word bala. Look at that word bala. Wala nablu wannakum. Right. So, ibtala, wa is ibtala? You see, all these are muptali, one who tests, one who tries, or one who tests. So, we say, we will say, we'll try, kum you. Right? We'll try you. Bi nahrin, bi is, of course, at, at nahar is river, and the tanwin means a river. So, Allah is going to try you. Now, He tells the army now. As we are going, we are going to go and meet the enemy. We are going to come to the river. It's just as a test. Maybe it is not something very, very... Because Allah gives you a test sometime, it may not sound logical to us. But here, as they are going through, they are going to pass a river. So, so, so what happened? Talud tells his people, so Allah is going to try you at the river. How is going to try you at the river? Look at this. فَلَمَّا فَسَلَ تَعْلُوتُ بِالْجُنُودِ So when Talut set out with the army, right, قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مُبْتَلِيكُمْ بِنَهْرٍ He said, surely Allah will test you at the river. How will Allah test? فَمَنْ شَرِبَ مِنْهُ فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي There's a test. That as you are going in the army, you'll be thirsty. You'll be thirsty, you'll be tempted to say now, how much of sabr can you make? How much of stoicism and bravery do you have? Are you going to just simply give in? So the test is that as we pass the river, right, let's see, Faman Shariba Minhu Falaisa Minni Faman Fa of course is what is fa is so or then man whoever shariba drinks. That is whoever now when you're going. Are you going to hold fast? Can you do away without drink? And can you make sabr? Can you endure? Faman shariba minhu from it. Falaisa, then he is not. Fa, of course, means then or so. Falaisa, then he is not minni of me. That is, he's not, he's not part of the sincere army. So this was a test that he says that Faman shariba minhu falaisa minni. So whoever drinks of it, then he is not of me. That shows 
that the, uh, the Talud told them, now we are going to go, we are going to face the enemy, but remember we are going to come through near the river and Allah mubtalikum bin Nahrin, Allah is going to test you at the river and for man shariba minhu, falaysa mini. So whoever is going to not hold and endure to say that I cannot make sabr and you run and you start drinking from the river. So what happens? It's a test, you have failed. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَدْعَمْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي إِلَّا مَنْ اِخْتَرَفَ غُرْفَةً بِيَدِهِ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَدْعَمْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي إِلَّا مَنْ اِخْتَرَفَ غُرْفَةً بِيَدِهِ And then let's take wa and man whoever or one who whoever or one who lam not one who does not yet am who he taste of it that is the one who does not taste of it you follow that is of the river as you're going so in other words you have passed the test fa indahu then surely he is fa of course is then fa is then inna surely he is innahu fa innahu surely he is minni of me can you see this was a test given to the children of Israel as they were going to the promised land to fight the other tribes so Talud told them Saul told them that if you pass the river if you're going to rush and you start drinking the water then you know of you but if you do not even taste of the water then you must know you are a person you are passed to be in the army and you are El illa except man one who ikhtarafa ikhtarafa meaning to take a scoop you just go to the river take a scoop and you drink it means that ghurfatan a scoop but you do not just keep on drinking continuously you just take a handful and you drink it bi yadihi bi of course is wood yadihi yad of course is hand bi yadihi with his hand wa man lam yat amhu فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي But one who does not taste of it, then surely he is of me. In other words, he has passed the endurance test and we can go and face. إِلَّا مَنِ اِخْتَرَفَ غُرْفَةً بِيَدِهِ Except one who scoops a scoop with his hand. In other words, as the army is passing, as the army is passing, you pass the river, this is a test now. The moment you are going to start running for the water, it means you have failed the test. But, except if you just take a scoop and you drink, there is nothing wrong with that. فَشَرِبُ مِنْهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مِنْهُمْ فَشَرِبُ مِنْهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مِنْهُمْ فَشَرِبُهُ Now look at فَا is so. فَا is so. شَرِبَ drank. شَرِبُ وَاو alif They drank. Minhu from it. In other words, people in the army did drink. Minhu. Illa except Qalilan a few. The few were those who were very brave and very tough people who said, no, we are not even going to take a scoop. Qalilan minhum of them, that is of the army that was led by Talud. So we said, Fasharibu minhu illa Qalilan minhum. So you see now, this was the test the children of Israel had to far pass under Talud. And let us see what continues after that. Of course, after a short break, inshallah. Oh. Except Fasharibu minhu illa qalilam minhum. So they drank of it except a few of them. Falamma jawazahu. هُوَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ فَلَمَّا جَاوَزَهُ هُوَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ So now what happens now he passed فَلَمَّا so when فَا of course is so فَلَمَّا so when جَاوَزَهُ جَاوَزَ means to cross over a river of course there must have been a bridge or something جَاوَزَهُ when they he crossed it who, that is Talud, now the leader, when he crossed it, who are he, wa and Allazina, those who, Allazina, those who, Amanu, Amana, he believed, Wow Ali makes it they, and those who have believed, Ma'ahu, with him, 
Now you notice that that, that lam means the sentence is not complete, means wherever you find lam. So we say falamma ja wazahu huwa wallazina amanu ma'ahu. So when he crossed it, that is the river, he and those who believed with him, that is the people now they are going to face face the army, the, the, the opposite army, you see. And, and remember they made the dua to have a leader, here is a leader that is leading them towards the, towards the, the enemy and they had to pass the river. Qalu la taqata lana al-yawma bijaluta wa junudihi. Immediately qalu, they said, la no taqata, right, power, lana for us al-yawma. We do not have power. They immediately started quivering and shaking. Bijaluta wajunudihi. Let us see. All who they said, the people who, part of them, who were not so brave enough, they did not have the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what they said? All who they said, la no taqata. Taqata means power. We use that in Urdu also. Lana, we have, in other words, for us, that is how we express in Arabic. La taqata lana al yawma, that is today, bi jaluta, against jalut, that is Goliath, against Goliath. You know the story of Dawood, David killed Goliath, and this is where it's going to happen now. That the people started saying, oh, we have no, we have no power, we do not have the strength, we do not have the might against jalut, against jalut. Wa and Junudihi. What is he? Is his his army. That is now on the one side, here is the army that is led by Talud, Saul, right? And he's leading the children of Israel to face the enemy. And on the other side, who is leading the enemy there? Is Goliath, the mighty Goliath. Right? So they started already giving in to say, you know what? We do not have any power. They said, we have no power today. Bijaluta wa junudihi against Jalut and his army. So now we are going to see that this army that was led by, by what you call uh, Talut. Now do not con, con, uh, confuse Talut and Jalut. Talut was Saul who led the Israelite army and Jalut is who? Is Goliath of the army and of course we'll have a short break and inshallah after the short break we shall continue and just to remind you you are watching Miftahul Quran and we are discussing verses 248 and 249 and wherein we are actually going forward to show that how the army the Israeli army with the help of Allah how they went forward and they defeated the, the enemy led by Goliath and of course we'll have a short break. Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'qiloon Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'qiloon Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to the program Miftahul Quran and you are watching ITV and just before the break we were explaining you how what you call under the leadership of Talut as the great commander in chief when Allah said that he is appointing Talut as a malik it was not a king a monarch but a commander in chief one who had authority, one who had dominion to lead the people. This is the actual thing here. So once they crossed the river and now some people were scared. They say, oh, the mighty Goliath, the mighty Talut, I mean Jalut is coming for us and his army. Do we have power against that? So let us see what happens now next. So here, قَالَ الَّذِينَ يَزُنُّونَ أَنَّهُمْ مُلَاقُ اللَّهِ now this is where the people says, Qala Alladina Yazununa Annahum Mulaku Allahi. Qala said, Who said? Alladina, those who Yazununa, they thought, they reckon, they, they thought, they were sure. 
Right? They reckon that what? Annahum that they mulaku, they'll make mulaqat. You see the word mulaqat? Mulaku, they shall meet Allah, they shall meet mulaku, Allah, they shall meet Allah. Now you notice, qala. Now you see that some people said, oh, how are we going to face this mighty army led by Jalut? But qala lazina yazunnuna annahum mulaku, Allah. Those who thought that they will meet Allah said, Come min fi'atin qalilatin khalabat fi'atan kathiratan bi'iznillahi. Come min fi'atin qalilatin khalabat fi'atan kathiratan bi'izni Allahi. Now this is the belief. You see, once you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Come, how many, how many men of fi'atin, a group, how many a group, qalilatin, a small group, a small group, come min fi'atin, qalilatin, a small group, as long as they have the determination, they have the inspiration and motivation by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here we say, right, that those who trust in Allah and those who believe that they are going to meet the Lord, with that faith, they say, Kam min fi'atin qalilatin qalabat has overpowered. That is, they beat them, they overwhelm them, has overwhelmed fi'atan, a group, kathiratan. You notice the concord between the two. Fi'atan, kathiratan, fi'atan is feminine and it is in the accusative case, it is indefinite. And you notice that the noun describing it is also kathiratan. You notice kathiratan is also, is the same as far as the grammatical rules are concerned. Mighty, biizni, that is the key word. Bi, by, isn't means permission or leave of Allah. Biizni lahi, biizni lahi, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you notice now? Now here Allah is trying to tell you what, kam min fiatin kali latin. How many a small group? Now we see in history at all times. We must not worry. Now you notice that fiatin is is kali latin is described by fiatin, right? How many a small group has overcome a mighty group by the permission of Allah? Wallahu ma'asabirin wa and Allahu, Allahu, and Allah is ma'a wud, right, is wud whom? As-sabirina, those who patiently persevere, and Allah is with those who patiently persevere. And what did we learn here so far? What did we learn so far? We learned a very, very important lesson here. That first of all, we have the people, when, when, when Talut was appointed as the Malik, to lead the army as an authority, as a command in chief, people started talking, yes, he hasn't been given a lot of wealth, as if to say the wealth is something that is going to make you feel something great. But the Nabi said, no, Allah did bless him with knowledge and Allah did bless him with physic, right? That, that is his jism was physically fit to lead the army. And then as they went along, they were tested and tried but only those who knew that Allah, they are going to meet the Lord and they knew that they are going to actually face, right, face the Lord. And what is going to happen? That they are going to, with a patient perseverance, as long as they can patiently persevere, they are going to beat the enemy. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, Wallahu ma'as-sabirin, and Allah is with those who patiently persevere. وَلَمَّا بَرَزُوا لِجَالُوتَ وَجُنُودِهِ قَالُوا رَبَّنَا أَفْرِقْ عَلَيْنَا صَبْرًا وَلَمَّا بَرَزُوا لِجَالُوتَ وَجُنُودِهِ قَالُوا رَبَّنَا أَفْرِقْ عَلَيْنَا صَبْرًا وَلَمَّا Wa, of course, is end. We know that we have done that so many. Lamma, when? 
And when Barazu, they advance, who advance? Who advance? You see here, we find that Wow Alif, it means they. They advance, meaning the people of, that was led under Talut, when they advanced towards the enemy. Barazu, Li Jalut, against Jalut. Now, who is Jalut? It is the Goliath of the Bible. Le Jalut, when they advance against Jalut, Wa and Junudihi, his army. Now you notice, advance Wa, right, Junudihi and his army. Now you notice now here, Junud is a plural army, and we use it as a collective noun. We don't say armies. It is used as a collective noun and his army. So in other words, on the one side was the Israelites being led by Talut and the other side was Jalut, Goliath, the great mighty Goliath with his army and the armies came face to face. Kalu, they said, now look at what the people said, right? Although they, they first of all, they said, come in fiatin kali latin and how many a small band of people could overpower and overcome a large and a mighty band be in love with the help of Allah. But look at the prayer, look at the dua. Qalu, they said, they made dua. Rabbana, our Lord. You see, Rabbana, our Lord. The moment the ba has got a fatha, it means it is a vocative case. Rabbana, not Rabbuna does not mean that. Rabbana, it must have a fatha to show. Our Lord, Rabbana, Afrikh. From Afraha Yufrihu, Afrik pour out that Ya Allah pour out Alaina upon us. Let it fall like a shower, like a like a raindrops pour out upon us. Sovereign, patient, perseverant. Look at what they asked for. What did the army of Israel ask for? They did not ask Ya Allah, give us a magic and overpower, give them a special tawis, give us a special dua, give us this and give us that. What did they make dua for? Rabbana Afrik alayna sabran. O Allah, pour out upon us. Patient perseverance to fight. This is what you need. You see, wa walamma barazu li jalu And when they advance against Jalut and his army, qalu, they said, in other words, they made dua, Rabbana Afrik alayna sabran. Our Lord, grant us or pour out upon us patient perseverance, that is sabr. This is the most important ingredient that you need to fight an enemy, not a magic something. وَثَبِّتْ أَقْضَى مَنَا وَانْسُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ wa and thabbit. Thabbit means make firm. أَقْضَى مَنَا وَانْسُرْنَا ala al qawmi al kafirina wa and thabbit thabbit means make firm make firm that it must not be shaky aqdamana what is aqdam our feet qadam qadam is singular aqdam is plural and then you ask the question set firm what ask the question what after the verb you are going to get the accusative and the accusative is denoted by the fatha or the object of the sentence, our feet were and unsur na. Unsur. What is unsur? Nasara, yansuru. Nasara, he helped. Yansuru, he is helping or he will help. Unsur is a command, is not insir. Unsur, help us, assist us. Unsur na, us. Allah, against. Against. Al Qaum, what is Al? Of course, is the Al Qaum is people, nation. Al Kafirina, Al Kafirina are that who are that nation, unbelieving nation. Al is the Al Qaum Al Kafirina. If you look at it, there's a concord here. Al Qaum Al Kafirina, meaning the unbelieving people. Right, was bit aqadamana. Look at the, the dua that these people made. They didn't ask, he says, Ya Allah, consider it. Today when we have a calamity, immediately we say, let's get few people and make khatamul Quran or get some beads and we read the khatma khajagan or, or we read this khatam and that khatam. But no, the army was marching towards an enemy. 
And the best dua that you can make, that what was the best dua was sabbit aqdamana wan sunna ala al-qawmi kafirin and set firm our feet and help us against the unbelieving people. And of course, with this, what we learn from here is first and foremost, what we learn, quite a few lessons here, that first of all, the people went to the Nabi and said, appoint for us somebody that is going to be a malik amongst us, somebody that will have authority to lead us against this enemy. So when Allah did appoint Talut, when did Allah did appoint Talut to do them, what they said. He said, why did you appoint Talut? Because he does not have a lot of wealth. But you see the value, the criterion is not the wealth. It is not the criterion. It is what? It is, Allah says, he, uh, he granted Talut ilm and, and um, bastatan fil ja, ilmi wal jasad that Allah did granted him a lot, a, a mighty knowledge and, and physic and therefore he qualified. Then what happened as they were crossing Allah put a test to them. And what was the test? That we are going to pass a river. And if you are going to jump and start drinking water, means that you do not have that endurance. And then if you do not, you are able to make sabr while passing the river in the thirst, which means that you have a lot of sabr, you have a lot of endurance. And that, that very important thing we learn again, that wallazina amanu, and those who had believed, that they were sure that they are going to meet their Rabb, they were so sure. What did they say? That how many a band of small people could overwhelm and overpower a mighty fiatun kathiratun bi'izni Allah by the help of Allah. And finally you see the dua that they make that our Lord Rabbana afrik alayna sabran pour upon us patient perseverance which is you need. You see, and wasabbit aqdamana and make firm another, make us very, very strong and not shaky. Right? Wasabbit aqdamana wansurna ala al qawmil kafirin and help us against the unbelieving people. And of course, with that, we have we learned very important lesson in these three verses. We have come to the end of this program and shukran for watching. This is Abdul Samad Abdul Qadir will thank all the people around me. And Alhamdulillah, today we have exercised a lot of sabr because we were having some technical problems here. And I must thank all the members that have helped me to make this a success. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَاهُمْ عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ السَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ أَلِفْ تِلْكَ آيَاتُ الْكِتَابِ الْمُبِينَ إِنَّا أَنْزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ